What is shutter speed? Shutter speed is a measure of how long the camera's shutter stays open. The shutter is a barrier that controls the amount of light that reaches the sensor. The longer the camera's shutter stays open, the brighter the image will be. Conversely, the shorter the shutter stays open, the darker the image will be. Shutter speeds below one second are measured in fractions. That is, if you set your shutter speed to 25, the camera shutter will be open for 1 25th of a second. Once the shutter speed reaches one second, the measurement value changes from fractions to whole numbers. For most cameras, these values are indicated by a quotation sign. So, if you set your shutter speed to 25, that means your shutter will stay open for exactly 25 seconds. After 30 seconds, your shutter speed will turn into bulb mode, or B. In this setting, the shutter will stay open for as long as you hold down the shutter release button. Different shutter speeds produce different types of effects in an image. When you use fast shutter speeds such as 1 over 500 or 1 over 1000, your camera's shutter closes before the sensor can record any motion. This freezes moving objects in place, capturing them in a way that would be impossible to see with the naked eye. The opposite is true when using slow shutter speeds. When you use slow shutter speeds, such as 1 second or 30 seconds, you leave the shutter open long enough to record objects as they move across the frame. This transforms moving objects into traces of soft and blurry textures. In photography, a slow shutter speed setting is referred to as long exposure. Long exposures are used to capture movement and convey the passage of time. For example, Photographers will use a long exposure if they want to capture the motion of water or the movements of clouds in the sky. While there isn't a specific range of shutter speed that is considered long exposure, a general starting point would be shutter speeds less than one-tenth of a second. When taking pictures with slow shutter speeds, mounting your camera on a tripod is often necessary. Without it, using a slow shutter speed is likely to result in camera shake. To avoid this, aim not to go any lower than 1 divided by your focal length. For instance, if you're using a 50mm lens, do not use shutter speeds below 1 50th of a second to avoid camera shake and a blurry image. The appropriate shutter speed setting to use in a given situation depends on three main components. Your choice of subject, the effect you're trying to create in your image, the amount of light available around you, Using fast shutter speeds are best for capturing moving subjects in crisp detail. You'll typically see fast shutter speeds used in wildlife and sports photography. Slow shutter speeds are ideal for generating creative blurs, such as recording the movement of water or trails of light. Slow shutter speeds are also best when taking photos in low light conditions to reach proper exposure. You'll often find slow shutter speed settings used in landscape, architecture, and astrophotography. The choice of shutter speed is about balancing between the amount of light and the motion you'll see in your photo. When choosing your shutter speed, remember the trade-off between exposure and motion blur. That is, although slower shutter speeds will let you capture more light, it will also register more motion blur in your image. And, while using fast shutter speeds enable you to stop motion and capture moving objects in sharp detail, it will also reduce the amount of light that reaches your sensor. To freeze motion without compromising exposure and focus, you'll need to use one of the other elements of exposure, aperture and ISO.